Hi, I'm Amy Lewis here with Pop-Up Tech Talks and we've got Rob. Rob, can you introduce yourself? Sure, I'm Rob Esker. I uh, spend all my time on, I guess, product management and strategy around OpenStack and ecosystem technologies at NetApp. Uh, I've been working on OpenStack since close to the epic of the project. Uh, I'm uh, within the community, co-founder of the Manila Project, and uh, I also sit on the OpenStack Foundation Board of Directors the last couple of years. Okay, so with all that background, um, we're here at OpenStack Summit Austin. What is the coolest thing you've seen, done, or heard this year? It's you know it's kind of hard to select. I mean, this is this event is huge all of a sudden. I guess it's been building, but I'm still shocked by the scale of it. Um, I guess if I had to pick out one thing, uh, probably that you know there's been this ongoing question of what how should containers be delivered with OpenStack? Uh, is it as a service within, or and I think this is the novel thing, and it's you know one of those obvious ones that kind of sits right in front of your nose. Maybe should the model be inverted? wherein actually Kubernetes, for example, is considered the base. Uh, and Kubernetes, you know, you want containers, obtain it via that interface. Oh, and OpenStack services run in a containerized fashion within. And sort of the novel part of that is, you know, it's sort of, you don't have to have separate treatment for containers as a service, and it simplifies greatly one of the, the ongoing problems of OpenStack, which is uh, the complexity of initial deployment and ongoing management, care and feeding, patching, upgrading, by containerizing it. So, uh, containers, one of the buzziest of buzzwords in our industry right now. Um, are you seeing a lot of uptake for this way of thinking? What? Yeah, interesting. So, so those closer to the to the bleeding edge are certainly adopting in mass. I mean, the, when I say those, I'm referring to uh, uh, organizations that are responsible for providing infrastructure. Containers are certainly being consumed uh, at amazing pace amongst the developer crowd themselves. And if you're of that DevOps ilk, yes. Uh, if you are more of kind of a classic uh, IT organization, you're looking to uh, uh, deliver containers as a service. Um, I'm not sure that there's as much consumption of that just yet. I think we're just, you know, kind of just ahead of that wave. Very cool. So what else have you seen here in Austin that, uh, that you're excited about? What's, what's going to be on your, on your home lab, on your desk, in your mind for the next, next six months? Wow. Um, so... Uh, it, there's a number of projects that I, I guess had sort of faded into the background and have sort of re-emerged of late. I, I'm pretty excited about Murano as an app catalog. I'm excited about Ironic again. Uh, and it's not just metal as a service, but also scenarios in which maybe it could be packaged independently to address sort of life cycle of physical resources underneath the service layer. Uh, you know, one thing I'm pretty excited about, I live in Austin, so it's great to actually drive instead of travel to the other side of the earth. I guess it's a separate topic, but excited about it. Um, it's, how much time do we have? <laughs> well, well, it actually leads me into my, my final question. Um, I feel like this is a no-brainer since you're an Austinite. Um, but food trucks, can you help us understand the phenomenon? I usually ask, are you for or against them? But I can't imagine you're against them. So help us help us understand this food truck I, world. I, I think my, uh, my Austin residency card would be revoked if I'd said something, uh, if I impugned it in some way. But, but you know, truly, I love them. Um, I think one of the cool things is that uh, a chef um, or you know a culinary professional if you will who who has like a distinctive and slightly different idea has low startup costs uh, in to, to go do his or her sort of unique take you know and oh by the way they can kind of dynamically provision food to the locality that is uh, most appropriate at the time uh, I'm sorry I'm intermingling an open sack and, and food trucks but well, I think it's also a container strategy. <laughs> In, indeed, uh, mo and and you know what? One of the power, uh, most significant sort of aspects of containers are, are of course, uh, you know, portability. So we could riff on this a little while. You're right. Thank you so much, Rob. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> we'll see you next time on Pop Up Tech Talks.